Hello friends, now that we have reached the end of an hour, it's time for a photo finish. The segment where we reflect on the world around us through photos. We want to start in Colleyville, Texas, where a suspect is dead after taking people hostage in a synagogue. This site adjacent to a battleground outside of a place that's sacred and holy for Jewish people, and it's become all too familiar. It's a reminder to listen to our Jewish brothers and sisters when they tell us their fears as we report on one anti-Semitic attack after another in this country. And speaking of protecting our neighbors, we also want to honor Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday. As people from many races and places honor the civil rights leader's legacy, his daughter, Dr. Bernice King, reminds us about the messages near and dear to him that don't always fit quaintly inside this broad idea of a dream. She's discussed his fight for voting rights, a fight that has now been passed on to another generation of Kings. This is his son, MLK III, at a rally on Monday. Then there's the acknowledgement of their mother, Coretta Scott King, a leader in her own right. Dr. Bernice King said without her mother, there would be no MLK Day. So to honor Coretta's legacy, I want to end on a quote a guest recited to us recently that I think speaks to the weight many of us tend to feel in our society's push toward liberty and justice for all. She said, struggle is a never ending process. Freedom is never really won. You earn it and win it in every generation. We'll be right back.